Hi team, this is Chris Abraham. Here's the first problem of the week. You're given four triangles in a box and you're asked to find the combined area. Problem. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. You here a box. And in this box there are these three these four shapes. And it says the square grid measures 10 units on a side. What is the combined area of the shaded region? Shaded regions here. So they want you and you have to do this, remember about two minutes or less, they want you to find the combined uh, area of this shape, this shape, this shape, and this shape. Now this is going to be the problem of the week, so I want you to take a moment, press pause, and then uh, we'll come back and I'll answer it for you, okay? What is, what is the combined area? I'll give you a clue. I'm hoping that you see triangles, okay? That's my clue. Press pause now. Okay, hopefully you've thought about it. You pressed pause and you had a chance to uh, think about this. When I gave you the clue about triangles, what I wanted you to think about is, well, what is the area of a triangle? Usually we have a triangle. Let's say we had a triangle like this. And they asked you, you know what? What's the area of that triangle? You'd probably come back to me and you say, oh, the area, that's whatever the base is times the height, and it's one-half the base times the height. And I would say, absolutely correct. Now these shapes here, well, they're really not nice, nicey, nice triangles. That's true. I know that. But they still have a base. Let's take this one right here, and they have a height. This has a base of two. And this has a height of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I wanted to find, let's say, the area of this first triangle, it would be 1 half the base times the height, which is 5. And now I'm hoping that you're seeing how I'm getting to this area of, uh, let's say, 5, I don't know, centimeters squared. We could do the same thing with this one here. It has a base of 1, 2, 3, and it has a height here of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that would be, you know, we do our formula. That's going to get us, uh, let's enlarge the space, let's get some more room here. That's going to get us 1 half, our base, which is 3, times 6, which would equal what? around 9. This one right here has a base of 2, 1 half, 2 times again 6. This has an area of 6. <clears throat> and this last one looks like it has a base of 2. So I go 1 half, 2, and a height. What's the height here? one, two, three, four, five. So when I do one half the base times the height I get five. Now if I add all these up, I have nine, I have six, I have five, and I have five. So the combined area of this shape will get us to twenty-five, you know, square units. So if it was centimeters, it would be centimeters squared. The answer here is B. Okay, everyone. I hope that you found this helpful. I think, you know, once again, this is taking what appears to be a very difficult problem and just looking at this very basic concept, the area of a triangle. So once again, no matter the area of the triangle, you know, if it's a right triangle, it's always base times height. If it's not a right triangle, it's still going to be the base times whatever the height is. Alright? And then you're going to find one half base times height. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you need to reach me, you can contact me at christhematchtutor.com or go to mteltestprep.com and we can begin from there. Thank you everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.